We are dropping off an empty at Frito-Lay and picking up another empty at a different Frito-Lay. Then we make our way up the windiest road we've ever done in the truck, 41A to Sewanee, Tennessee. Join us. Welcome to the joy of trucking. Remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you like traveling with us. All right, buckle up. Let's go. Hello, Tennessee. Potato delivery drivers, Frito-Lay would appreciate you not cleaning out your trailers on the premises. <laughs> uh, yeah, and the last Frito-Lay where we dropped our empty, they only make cookies there. Apparently they were the only facility for Frito-Lay that only makes cookies. But now obviously here, potato chips, because they talk about the potato products. The story. These are on the other side. And I just have to call them and tell them the number once we've got them back in here. Let's check it thoroughly. No free samples here either? You want some corn or oil? Uh, no cookies at the last place. I like the f potato chips. The ones that are just potato, salt, and oil from Frito-Lay in the yellow bag. I like those. I would have taken a free sample. I wonder if Frito-Lay is also owned by Olay. You know, like 
spoil of Olay face the Greeks. Maybe they're owned by some bullfighters, Olay. That's where they got the name, you know? Olay. Yeah. You see empty trailers here anywhere? I see a gate. That's not good. I see a lot of signs on this gate. What is this? Somebody's supposed to come out of here. Yeah. Well, there are like people's the names. Oh, look, it's mileage for yeah. drivers. Wow. Drivers. Huh. Yeah, so you that's a million miles in a day cab. like she knows where there's a trailer. <laughs> what does she hear? Here's one. Oh, here's two. Oh. Bags of chips laying around in there still. <laughs> oh, you can tell I haven't had breakfast yet. My mind is on food. So while Kevin is out doing the trailer inspection, I put together some food. We can call it brunch because it's not really my typical breakfast food, but wanted to share with you what I have here just to inspire you, give you ideas of healthy things you can eat on the road. We are lucky and now have a fridge, so we can have a few more things than we did when we were just traveling with the cooler. And what I have here purchased, all of it you can get at Walmart. I have the broccoli slaw, which is unfortunately not organic, but it is, you know, vegetables. Here comes Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Hi. The trailer okay? Excellent. Okay, back to food. <laughs> oh, any chips? Nothing in there. Darn it. All right, well, back to the healthy food. Got the broccoli slaw, and you can buy little bags of wild caught salmon. So I just open up the bag of the salmon, put it in with the broccoli slaw, added some organic Dijon mustard, which I also purchased at Walmart, and some apple cider vinegar and flaxseed oil. So, mix all that together with a little Himalayan salt and you've got protein and vegetables and it actually tastes pretty good. <laughs> so, just to inspire you, give you some ideas. It doesn't have to be fast food every day. The other nice thing about it is it's super fast. I didn't have to cut, chop, clean, wash, anything. I just have the broccoli slaw in the bag and the salmon in the bag and you can also by the way get tuna like that and yeah just threw it all together so it took me like a minute or two <laughs> which we know in trucking it's also nice to have food prepared quickly okay hope that helps you guys out there i know we get a lot of questions about what to eat on the road so there's another idea for you
goodness. state natural areas. And a whole collection of signs, my goodness. <laughs> okay, Mont Eagle 7, Chattanooga 57. Okay. Near Mont Eagle Pass, that explains a few things. <laughs> Now, down, we're going down the other side. I didn't see any truck runaway ramps. Town. 
Welcome to Sewanee. Thanks for riding with us this morning as we wound our way up to Suwannee, Tennessee. Now we got to get back down that mountain, so be sure to join us in the next video when we're going <laughs> to drive down Mount Eagle, the famous Mount Eagle. And in the meantime, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. You can put your comments and questions below. Have you done a windy, windy road like that in a big truck or a big RV or a motorcycle? Tell us your story and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to keep traveling with us, discovering the roads of America, windy or not, <laughs> and learning about trucking. With that, we wish you a good day. We're going to make our way onto I-24 and hope to see you in the next video. With love from Kevin and Tanya. Bye. <laughs>